In one of my last videos, I told you how impressed I am that so many new companies are launching so many new cool bags. And here we go with another one. A great mix of a day pack and a camera bag. Hi, my name is Buis Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And this is a quick look at the Boundary Supply Primer System. So why does Boundary Supply call this a system? Let's go over the Primer System. Starting with the bag itself, this is a top-loading backpack with a flap-down closing, which at first I thought to be a roll top, but the top part is actually quite stiff, so it is not easily rollable. But the main compartment is easily openable via these magnetic buckles and this front zipper that gives you better access to the spacious main compartment. Inside you can find the slot for documents and these two compartments that I wish would have zippers or some other means of closing. As the main compartment is quite big and small items can get lost underneath this compartment, these two smaller compartments are a great place to store items like USB drives for instance. But since you can't close them, they might just fall out into the bottom of the main compartment when you're running. Continuing with the bag itself, there is this quick access slot on the top with this magnetic lock keyring. A quick access slot that is more hidden beneath this bottle compartment, which can also be used as a tripod holder with this hidden securing strap. A separate laptop compartment where you can store a 15 inch laptop in this slot, as well as a tablet or a 13 inch computer in this detachable folder that has quite a lot of great organizational compartments. All these compartments are equipped with these StormGuard YKK zippers, which almost all have a zipper garage. Unfortunately, the most important compartment for the item that needs the most protection from water, the laptop, does have a dual zipper and therefore doesn't have a zipper garage. While it is obviously more comfortable to have two zippers, it is also a point of entry for water if not closed properly. Therefore, I would have preferred a zipper with a zipper garage, like on the other zippers, or just a rain flap. The detachable folder inside the laptop compartment is part of the primer system, but the main attraction of this system is the detachable camera compartment that you have already seen inside the main compartment. To get to the camera compartment, you can open this side zipper, but you need to open another zipper since this compartment is detachable. So if you need a smaller bag, you can just detach this compartment, use the waist belt of the bag and transform it into a shoulder bag. And if this shoulder slash camera bag is too small for your needs, you can even enlarge it by opening this bottom zipper. Since this is intended as a compartment for fragile camera gear, it is well padded but comes with a little bit of bulk even when empty. So keep in mind that the main bag will always appear a little bit half full with this compartment attached inside. Furthermore, there's obviously a lot of space taken away by this compartment and getting stuff from underneath this compartment can be quite a hassle. But the beauty of every modular system is that if you don't need a compartment, you can just take it out, leave it at home and use the bag as a regular day pack. And from my initial impression so far, I can say that this is a very good day pack. Currently, I don't need to carry that much camera gear or I'd rather use the compartment for some hard drives. Therefore, most of the time I just leave the compartment at home. When detached, I found that the zipper of this camera compartment sometimes tends to get stuck on the hyperlon that is used for the connection points of the camera compartment. This is just a minor gripe, but still something to keep in mind. This and the zipper of the laptop compartment are the only minor gripes or things I would rather change or maybe improve so far. The bag itself feels substantial and a little bit hefty in a way. But overall, it is very comfortable to wear due its ventilated and padded back. Keep in mind that this is just a quick look of a pre-production unit. But from my initial impressions so far, I like this bag quite a lot. It's a great balance between a day pack and a camera bag. So if you don't carry that much camera gear and you want just one bag, i.e. a day pack and a camera bag in one, then you might want to take a look at the upcoming Boundary Supply Primer System. And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.